Hello everyone, this is Quiversy, and welcome back to some more of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Last time we got ourselves started waking up on the Toronbo Shores, well, no, being washed up on the Toronbo Shores, but waking up here in Marin's house. Took a little tour of the town, got our sword back down there, and um, won a couple prizes at the trendy game after failing to steal from the town tool shop. Yeah, before uh, starting this episode, I just opened up the map, and it's like, I'm really digging this. And, yeah, the unexplored areas are giving you some clues as to um, what might be where. Yep, yeah, this looks about right. Oh, and that's the pins. I guess you can have 30 of them, and they can be varying things. So, like, for example... We just got ourselves, in the last part, we got the dog food from here. And if you remember, there's an alligator who lives here who wants canned food. So I'll just put a box there to indicate that we want to check that out at some point. And like over here, um, I'll have clubs be fisherman. Yeah, that works. Anyway, so let's start off with that, shall we? Let's go say hi to the fish. Did I read this sign? I don't think I did. Fishing pond. Yep, that's 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 exactly what's up here. Hmm. How about some fishing, little buddy? I don't know, charge of ten rupees. Sure. Okay, here's how you do it. Hold A to release the cast your line out. The longer you hold it, the farther you'll cast. You can tug on your line by moving in. If you want to reel it in a hurry, keep tapping A real quick. You got this, little buddy. Sounds about similar. Yeah, this this is taking me right back. Basically how the fishing game works. Uh, let's see if I can really remember. Okay, yep. Cast all the way. Just kind of tug it back with the stick. You want to try and get a fish's attention. Just letting it sit will let the, the lure sink. Um, okay, good. We can get the little one. I want the big fish. I guess I'll go for the one on the bottom first. Oh. Watching it. Come on! Don't you dare! Ah, I got away! Oh, that one got away! Wanna keep going? Sure. I didn't mean to tap that. Well, I guess I'm going for the baby fish. I got a fish! You landed a little fish. Just like you, it's small, but it has plenty of fight. It's a 10.05 inch run. You gotta dream bigger than that. I think that's worth uh, 11 rupees. Wait, what? What? That's supposed to be in the big fish! Why did I get that from the little fish? What? <laughs> that's not supposed to happen! <laughs> That's, that, 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 that's literally why I was going for the big fish! Not just for the money, but because it gives you a piece of heart! Okay, good, I shook off the little guy. I, again, I want to go for the big one. As you can guess, they're worth a lot more. No, go, go, go away! Go away. Ah, fine! Right, that's what I did wrong. When they're fighting, you have to not reel in, otherwise they'll get away. That's what I did wrong with the big one. Land another little fish. 5.72 run. Aww. Also, I can't but notice that another fish came in that wasn't there before. I'm pretty sure that they didn't do that before. You could actually clear out the entire pond. It looks like the little fish are coming back. Also, the big fish that ran away... He ain't coming back, so I'm gonna have to come back and do this again later. Oh, you! Fine, I'll get this little one then. No, you don't. Get back here. I'm gonna get that big fish. Just you wait. Ah. Uh, another boy. Okay, I cast it where I wanted. Just gotta let it go down low. Okay, it dodged the little fish. Good. 
it's funny, you gotta dodge some fish. Oh, he was just playing with it. Come on. Look at it. that you wish you caught something lighter. Wow, 28.82 finch fish, that's a lunker. Nice one, that's what, 23 rupees, easy. Land and lunker, I'll set you up with a new lure. Ooh, new lure. The middleweight lure, the fish a little down deeper, will love this one, that's new. This is the first time you land one that size, I'll start the cage with a peep. I'm gonna guess they added more pieces of heart to this too. Okay, well, there's no more big fish in this pond at the moment, so, um, yeah, let's go with that. Let's just catch a... Come on. Come on. Oh! Big boy's back! Big boy's back! Alright, well, let's, um, just get the 11 rupees. Yeah, you can see the way that it works is you literally get one, um, one rupee per inch. I don't remember off the top of my head if that was also how it handled in the original. Um, but I definitely remember that the little fish never had the piece of heart. Like, the one down in the weeds there was supposed to have a piece of heart in his mouth. So, I'm still going for him just out of principle. He might just be money at this point, I don't know. Lost him there. Come on. A little more. Got him. Okay, that's it. No more fishing for now. <laughs> Reeled another big fish. A 27.55 inch fish. 20 rupees. Oh, okay, it's only 20 rupees there. I guess there's diminishing returns. All fished out for now. That's okay. You can come cast with me whenever you want. I, I remember the exact phrasing of what he said in the original. Whenever you stopped fishing, he would say, you've got to have some more passion in your life. Live a little. Every time, no matter how long you stayed there fishing. And I always found it kind of silly. How it's like, he would, he would tell you that you don't have any passion even after you clear out the entire dang pond. So I like that they expanded it a little bit. Like, having the fish come back, adding in extra lures, like, it's not much, but it's something. I can appreciate that. Anyways, beyond this bush, the trees change color, and we enter the forest. It's the owl! Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. Ooh, ooh. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholid island. Ooh, ooh. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave this island whilst the wind fish nets. Ooh, ooh. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Ooh, ooh. Go there with the key you find in this forest. Ooh, ooh. The windfish is watching. <laughs> the Tail Cave, huh? Want we'll to keep an eye out for that? Ooh. S sorry, I just need a moment for music. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this version of this song. Like, it's much more fitting for the name Mysterious Forest, but dang, the original version of this is just so intense and upbeat that I kind of dig it. I'm gonna play that for a moment here, because I think it's worth comparing. You, you can kind of see what I mean by now, I'm sure. It's... it's something. Anyways, 
Got a bunch of moblins over there. A couple of them gave me a little bit of damage. And on this rock, that little slime creature there, I believe that is called a Zol. And there's a treasure chest that we can't get to. So, just need to tour around. I know what you are about, and I am turning around. Don't mess with the raccoon. I gotta remember I have a shield. Beware floors with cracks. Don't get too comfortable on them. That's a very important hint. Um, okay, and when you attack us all, they split into two. So, also gotta be careful. I gotta, I, I gotta make sure I keep my shield up when I'm fighting these guys. And then that happens. Game over. Didn't take long for that to happen. <laughs> uh, whoa. That's generous. Like, I was expecting it to kick me back to at least the entrance of the forest. Not sure how I feel about that, honestly. I think that's a little too nice. And of course, this is what I was trying to get to, was the dang fairy. Let's heal your wounds and get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. And just like that, we're fully healed. Oh, and this is a different kind of mob, and instead of throwing spears, they got a sword and shield. I don't really remember them being that annoying to fight with the shield, like, compared to how I'm doing here. You know what? I'm just gonna leave him be. It's not like I'm gonna get anything other than a couple of rupees out of it. We can't go in there. I can't go across there. I'm pretty sure what you actually are supposed to do is go into the, um, log with the sign that tells you about the cracks. But I have other priorities. Welcome to the Koholan Prairie. Crazy Tracy to the right, Monbo's Pond to the south. But we can't go there because of the rocks. Also, I'm just going to take this moment to say, this is probably my favorite version of this classic Zelda Overworld song that's playing right now. I just need a moment to appreciate it. Um, also, we got a Zora popping in out of the pond there, and a buzz blob over there. Can't really do much about the Zora because he's blocked off by the water and the wall, and can't do anything about the buzz blob because he is electrified. And we've also got this spooky tree! What lies within the spooky tree? Why, what else but a witch? And her rats! Uh, ma'am? Double, double, toilet trouble. A toad school mix makes powder for tricks. That is a hint that we need to find a toad stool. So we need to go back into the forest to do that. Some reason I thought there was something else that I could do out here, like somewhere else I could go, but um, I think I had my wires crossed in terms of which exit led where. Yeah, I did. I did. I remember now. It's... I'm thinking of something in that direction, but we can't go across those gaps. I may know this game very well, but it has also been years since I have played it last. So, uh, you know. I'm bound to forget a few th Oh, no. I know what that is. You got a piece of power! You can feel the energy flowing through you! Okay. Does it stay with me here? Yes, it does. So, a piece of power is one of two temporary upgrades you can get in this game. In the case of a piece of power, it makes it so that your attacks basically yield double damage and will just obliterate your enemies. Also, there's some money. The reason I said oh no when I got that was because of the memories it brings back. Um, and it's actually a music change, which you can hear it's playing a jingle right now. It's not bad. But now listen to the original. Yeah, it's kind of insane. 
Now imagine hearing that, like, non-stop on loop for what feels like forever. Because those things will drop all the time. To the point that it's like, I would rather them not be in the game at all. That being said, that also might imply I'm going to kill you, stupid moblin, that its defensive counterpart is in this too. And considering we're in hero mode, that would probably be a very welcome thing. Okay, what is it that triggers you to put your shield into... Uh, whatever. Those guys are mean. <laughs> Go away. Go away. Go away. I need this mushroom. You pick the toadstool. As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. Indeed it do. And there's nothing else up there, so I'm going back in the cave. Now... Right. That. That. I really do like the, like, mellowed remixes of all of the songs for this game. Like, despite what I said about the Mysterious Forest one being a little, I'm not 100% sure how I am on, for the most part, I am dead. <laughs> Maybe hero mode was a mistake, I don't know, but considering how there's, like, no penalties for dying, it seems... Like, I'm trying to remember how punishing death was for, like, outdoor areas in the original. Like, dungeons, I recall, it would basically warp you back to the entrance. But I feel like it was a bit more punishing in the original. Good lord. Let's go ahead and get our heal back on. And... You know what, before we go back to the witch and bring her the toadstool... Where's that scheming little raccoon friend? He's over here, isn't he? I want to show what he do. Stupid bubblins. Hello. <laughs> As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Sure is. And as we start to walk away... <laughs> You're gonna be lost thanks to me! <laughs> and with that, we're now back here. So, that's not actually what it did before. I mean, it is... Well, let me explain. So, in the original, it would... This game was basically done in, um, screens. Like, um, basically every... Every screen was its own little thing, so there would be transitions between them. It, it doesn't have, like, smooth scrolling like this. So what it would do is, it would be on that screen, and when you would move beyond that screen, it would basically take you back towards, near, like, somewhere near the entrance. So it's kind of interesting that they um, kind of had to repurpose it like that to make use for the smooth scrolling. I was wondering how they were going to do that. Alright. So, oh, okay. So I just have the toadstool. I don't have to equip it and offer it to her. That, that's another thing you had to do. <laughs> ah, it has the sleepy toadstool, it does. We'll mix it up in a jiffy, we will. Put the mushroom in the pot. Stir like crazy. It's all ready it is! Take care, as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? You got some magic powder! Open the subscreen and set to either X or Y. So we got 20 doses of magic powder. Now, in most Zelda games that have this type of item... Oh, good job! Use it on enemies and see what happens! If you run out, go to the forest, pick some more toadstools, and I will make you more! Come back without a toadstool, and you may have to pay the price for my leftovers. 
Not sure what um, that implies, because that's a new statement. I'm gonna guess that the fact that they added that in means that you can pay rupees to get them, which would be nice. Um, but yeah, this game does not have a magic meter of any kind, so this actually just has a limited use counter. In addition, if we go to Mr. Glazblob here. Puff him up. Now he is different! I'm a changed blob! And that's not all I have to say! Now that I have lips, I fantasize about playing one of this island songs on a flute. There are three hot local hits! All three of those blobby bops are magic, literally! If no other tool do the job, pull out one of those songs you got stuck in your head! And he's back to looping. He doesn't... He's not saying some of the stuff he used to say. But I believe this thing is called a Cuke Man? It's not just a buzz blob with big eyes and a mouth. I don't know why he's there, but he is funny. But, um... Oh, we can't hurt him. Okay, he's not electric anymore. I thought he was still electric for some reason. Uh... If I remember right, though, he literally would just spout nonsense in the original. Like, I think he would literally just say, You know me, I like short names the best! Or something stupid like that. That's the one that sticks in my mind, anyway. But yeah, he's just kind of there. That's something you can do with Buzz Blobs, is, um, drop powder on him. You know what? You have some powder. You blocked it. You blocked the powder! You don't block the powder! Ugh, he's dead. You can't block the powder. Yeah, for most enemies, it'll set them on fire. <laughs> it actually does some decent damage, too. But it's limited use. And, as you might have guessed, Mr. Nose is sensitive to powder. Good, they kept this. thing I can remember was biting into a big juice toadstool, and I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, sounds strange, but it sure was fun. Taryn, don't eat mushrooms that you don't know what they do. Uh, I'm all tuckered out. I think I better shit a spell before I head home. Here, I'll, I'll get rid of the moblin for you. There. Now he won't stab you and eat you for dinner. But without the Terran Raccoon, you can see now we're on the other side of those gaps that we couldn't get across before. And we have acquired the Tail Key, and we can use it to open the Tail Cave Gate. Take the key and go to the Tail Cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The Windfish is waiting. I like the owl. He may talk a lot, but I feel like he doesn't quite overstay his welcome. Anyways, before we go to the tail cave, going to the actual spot that I was thinking about before. That's a like-like. I don't like like-likes. I don't think anybody likes like-likes. Because they eat your shield. <gasps> There's the other one. The Guardian Acorn! Reduces the damage you take by half. And we're going to take a quick little look around the Gaponga Swamp. So there's these little fishy dudes here. Can't really attack them unless they pop out of the water. Needs to say, they're more trouble than they're worth. And then these flowers. You can't do anything with them either, but they will hurt you if you touch them. Same goes for the Gigundus flowers, which also spit poisons. I should mention, there is no reason whatsoever to go here at this point in time. Wow, the Guardian Acorn does not last nearly as long as it uh, normally does. Which I am actually quite happy about. Also, I could have sworn you could go beyond those. I don't know those rocks being there. Yeah. I don't think those rocks are there normally, which raises a few questions. Considering what I know about this area. Well, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. 
Um, how is our rupees holding up? Yeah, 111 of them. Good lord. Um, may as well pay a quick little visit to the phone booth. Uh, Mr. Orira. Orira speaking. You know, there's a library in the village that my ah, shut up. Same info. Nothing new. I wanted to see if he had something new to say. Anyway, I guess I'll meet you down by the Toronto Shores then. Here we are. So before we go into the Tail Cave, I figure since we're in the area, I might as well stop by and talk to Sale and see if he's interested in our can of dog food. <gasps> What's that you have? It's canned food! For heaven's sake, man, give that to me! Please! I'm gonna lose it if I can't get that can! Uh, I think this this crocodile has problems. Okay. Oh, thank you! I'll take that! And... He just scarfs it. Mm, that was great! I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas! Yum! You gave dog food and got bananas in return! Good deal. So, if uh, memory serves, it's gonna be a good bit before we can use the bananas. But, um... It's good to just kind of have those at the ready. Otherwise, there'd be a lot of back and forth thing. Like, that's... That's honestly the best way to deal with the trading quest in this game, is to get started on it as soon as possible, because a lot of the stuff that you need to do, you'll just kind of come across on the way for other things. And the trading quest is, well, technically not mandatory, it kind of is. I'll explain later. Anyways, this is our real destination for now, the Tail Cave. Take our key into the lock. The door opens. And with that, next time on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, we're going in Tail Cave. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.